Good morning and welcome. Today I am excited to introduce to you a new fragrance to the Gingham family from Bath & Body Works Gingham Glow. Now if you remember about two springs back, Bath & Body Works had released three brand new fragrances at the time that were all inspired by their mascot fragrance Gingham. Just as a little backstory on the original blue Gingham that we all know and love, this is a fragrance that was created by master perfumer Honorine Blanc and it was supposed to be a fragrance that kind of encapsulates the entirety of what Bath & Body Works has come to be as a brand. Honorine Blanc was a good choice to make this fragrance because she has made many different fragrances by Bath & Body Works that are very popular including Twilight Woods and Forever Red. A lot of those kind of staple fragrances that when we think back on our past at Bath & Body Works, these fragrances kind of come to mind immediately. She says, each fragrance I create for Bath & Body Works has a story and a strong identity. For Gingham, I wanted to capture a fragrance that connects with the consumer, connects with nature, and is the happiest fragrance ever. So I think that's really cute and a special way of thinking about gingham as a fragrance for this company. We had a couple of other different ginghams in the line. So we've had gingham love which came out around Valentine's Day time and that one was a little bit more of a berry and rosy version of gingham and it was red. And then we also had gingham heart of gold. That one was released in November kind of for the holiday season and it had kind of a warm golden spicy apple note in it which was really pleasant. And then later on we got that trio of ginghams. There was gingham fresh, gingham gorgeous, and gingham vibrant. So when they first were released, I had made a video comparing and contrasting those three ginghams. So if you want a more in-depth review on those three fragrances, I'll leave a link up above for you to watch. But we're going to be talking mainly about the brand new gingham that is coming out for this summer into fall, and that is Gingham Glow. I'm very excited to share it. I did smell it in store on my hand, and I do like it with my body chemistry. So let's talk about this new fragrance, and then we can compare it to the other ginghams that we know and love. So what was really fun about Gingham Gorgeous, Gingham Fresh, and Gingham Vibrant is they all had kind of of a common connecting factor that made them related to the original gingham. I'm not really seeing that connection, at least in the note listing of Gingham Glow, to how it connects to the original gingham. So I'm kind of curious to see how similar it is in comparison going back and forth. So the notes for Gingham Glow are listed as golden nectar, marigold petals, and sun-soaked sandalwood. You can tell they're really going for that late summer into fall vibe. They're really making this a seasonal fragrance, which does alert me to the fact that this is probably not going to be a fragrance that is on the market forever indefinitely. This is probably just going to be a seasonal release. Besides Gingham Glow's release, they are also going to be bringing back a new packaging for Gingham Gorgeous, which never really went off the shelves, but we've got a new packaging for Gingham Gorgeous. I have seen word that they will be bringing back Gingham Fresh, which was momentarily discontinued, and that one was more of a fresh pear and daisy, kind of a clean scent, almost reminded me of a Calgon Take Me Away body splash from the 90s. So we will be seeing those side by side along with this Gingham Glow fragrance for late summer and early fall. So Gingham Glow is going to have many different body care forms. Fine fragrance mist, shower gel, lotion, body cream, scrub and body butter they usually do when they have a single launch release like this. But for today's video I'm just going to be sampling and sniffing this travel size EDP concentrated perfume. I am really enjoying the packaging. I think it's really fun to have a nice warm autumnal kind of color going on. Very cozy and golden and like they said very radiant. First of all let's try it on the paper card. Wow, that is such a strong fragrance. Wow, that fragrance is really unique and it's strong. It really is one of those things that it's undeniable. I feel like this is one of the most head-turning fragrances I have smelled from Bath & Body Works in a while. It's one of those ones that once it enters a room, if somebody is wearing it, it will be the first thing you notice. It's just very obvious and descript. While as there's some body care fragrances that just kind of have like a, oh, something smells kind of good in here. This is like, pow, this is an amazing, strong, intense fragrance. So golden nectar is kind of vague. It kind of makes me think of something like honey or maybe a fruity kind of vibe going on, like a nectarine or a peach or something juicy and late summerish. That's what I think of when I think of nectar. I'm not really sure if I'm smelling any fruity notes in there. To me, it's kind of coming off as 
warm and a little bit on the solar side. I think I'm smelling radiance. If radiance had a smell, that's what it would be. When you stop and smell a marigold just in the wild, I feel like it doesn't have too much of a scent. Kind of like I remember when they released poppy. I'm like, poppies don't really smell like anything in real life. When you extract the fragrance oils from these ingredients, they kind of turn into their own thing. And I was looking it up and they describe marigold as smelling like overripe apples and a little bit more of a woodier fragrance than most florals. And when you describe that to me, it really does make sense. I think of all of the ginghams, this is reminding me a little bit closer to gingham heart of gold than any of the other ginghams, just because of that overripe apple. It's juicy. It's not necessarily what I would call fruity though. It's just very warm and a little bit spicy. I find that there is a powdery note in it that's reminding me a little bit, don't come for me, it's a little bit of a Japanese cherry blossom powdery scent to it. I wouldn't describe any of the other ginghams as having a powdery note in it. This is the first time I've really noticed powdery inside a gingham fragrance. Very unique. I'm really enjoying this blend so far. So let me try it on my skin and see if I notice anything different than when I smelled it on the paper. I know that my skin tends to not do very well with florals. I'm not actually a floral fan at all. I don't really care for the smell of florals and I don't like wearing them. But sometimes if you compare it with like fruity floral um, or something a little bit more of a gourmand, I might enjoy it a little bit more. Okay, on my hand, it's quite different than on the cards. So what I'm smelling on my skin is more of a honeyed scent, which is really pleasant. I know that I like it when my skin can pull more of those gourmand sweeter notes. And there must be that golden nectar. I'm thinking it's more of like a honey scent. Not as sweet or caramely as a maple syrup, but more natural and floral like honey. Yeah, that's really interesting how that changed on my skin. I'm curious just to see if there are any similarities at all to Gingham, the original, and this Gingham Glow. So I have it in a body butter of the original blue Gingham. I'm gonna smell them back and forth and see if I can notice any similarities. When I smell the original gingham, the first thing that comes out to me is that combination of clementine and peach together, and then I smell more of that playful, floral, pretty note in there. I would say that the original gingham is the most fresh of the ginghams, aside from, of course, gingham fresh, which is the pear one. That one, of course, is the most fresh to me, but this one is the second most fresh. It's kind of a clean scent. I think the only similarity I'm really detecting in this is that they both have a sophistication to them that kind of just Dream Bath and Body Works. They kind of have that classic Bath and Body Works scent behind it that I feel most Bath and Body Works scents have. Oftentimes when they have florals, it's very a complex floral. They're usually not like a singular note floral. So it kind of confuses your nose when you smell it. And I think that's about it where the similarities end. They both have a sophistication, but original gingham is way more playful because of clementine and peach. I think of those as being very top note heavy, playful, fun, sparkling, juicy scents. While the Gingham Glow is playing more upon those warm, comforting notes, which is interesting for a gingham because not many of them are about comfort. They're more about optimism. Yeah, that's really interesting to smell a new gingham in that way. So I hope you're enjoying the new Gingham Glow if you've gotten a chance to smell it yet. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below, have you smelled the new Gingham Glow yet? And which gingham of all of the ginghams are your favorite? I think for me, the one that smelled the best on my skin was probably Gingham Vibrant, which was that one that had blackberries and vanilla in it. And I tend to do better with gourmand, so my vanilla loving self kind of loved the fact that it had vanilla and something gourmand and cozy to cling to in it. But I'm starting to think that this one is a high contender. This one might be in second place and then Gingham Heart of Gold maybe in third, just because I do love those more warm, cozy notes. Either way, I hope that this review of Gingham Glow was helpful to you and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.